Hi everyone. Today I'm going to do a quick review on a uh, handy little tool I bought. It's a uh, six inch um, caliper. It's made by uh, Pittsburgh and it's very economical. It's under, you can buy them for under uh, $20. I'll post a link to it uh, on Amazon in the description as well as to the manual so you can check out all the uh, specs and, and features on it. Um, here's a picture, here's a close up of it as you can see. Um, I've, I've found it very, very handy. It's been very reliable and quite accurate. So uh, next I'll uh, show you all the features and I'll show, it, show you how uh, accurate and uh, it is at functioning. Here is the uh, six inch caliper inside its uh, beautiful uh, shipping case that comes in. It comes in a, in a foam cut case as you can see. Uh, it has a very nice uh, protective foam all the way around. It's cut to shape to the actual caliper itself. It also has a top that's, calip that's also foam covered. This is a preci precision uh, instrument so you want to keep from hitting it and jarring it or dropping it and you want to protect it as much as possible from uh, hard hits and jars. Um, it does come with one extra battery in the case and one already installed. Uh, I'll show you how that is done. You just slide off the side cover like that, pull it off, put the new one in, put it back in. So just to keep the batteries fresh I'm going to put the original back in and it's just a matter of sliding the little, oops, excuse me, that'll be a two hand operation like that. Um, features are on and off, uh, zero button to zero it to uh, wherever you want, usually at the top of a uh, closing. Uh, you have millimeters, inches, and inch fractionals. So it, it's pretty uh, neat in the way that it uh, will display SAE and metric uh, settings, as you can see. All right? So let me show you that up close. I'm getting a little bit of glare there. Okay, so there's your inch fractionals, as you can see. It's a six inch caliper, so it goes to six inches. There's your millimeters. Sorry for the glare. And there's your inches in uh, decimals. And there, okay, so there's on zero. You got a zero button. You got an on and off. You have your inches and in, in millimeters, as I said. It does have a caliper lock too. This will lock it so it doesn't move on you after you take a measurement. Um, you can measure with the jaws right here. Uh, that's for the outside uh, diameter or measurement or anything. You have an inside. Uh, this is for the inside. If you're measuring like the inside of a pipe, this will measure that. Uh, you can measure depth just by uh, depth of an edge just by holding the edge on here. Uh, as such, let me show you. So, if you want to measure the edge of that to the bottom, put it on a flat surface, and do it like that. And that little edge will show you the, the uh, depth, which is 0.5 inches, half an inch. Um, as well, you have a depth uh, measuring. Let me get that on a little bit better. There you go. The, uh, the bottom will go out and you can uh, uh, check the depth of a hole or a uh, cavity of any kind that you want using that little uh, edge to stop you on the bottom. Um, it also has a little nice, uh, something I like a lot, is this little ball, little roller that allows you to, to uh, you know, basically inch up on whatever you want. As well, there's a built-in ruler. Not sure what that's really useful for, but I guess if you want to quickly see what something, how wide something is, uh, you just open it to that. Um, and as you can see, it zeroes nicely. Let's go to, okay, back to millimeters. Just hit the zero. Now I would zero it after every measurement. You know, basically go out, come back in. Uh, as you can see, it's a little off. There, back to zero. Um, out, back in. And as you can see, I'll clean that and put it back together, zero it. 
Now I'm going to test its accuracy here in a second. Um, found the best way to do that is to use something that is uh, pretty standard. I'm going to use a diameter of a nickel, uh, a quarter, and a dime, uh, which are basically known um, quantities. So uh, let's see, a nickel is supposed to be 21.21 or 8.35 inches. So let's go with that first, zero it. And I'm going to put it in there. Oh, OK. Forgot to zero. So we'll zero it. And there's zero and locked. I got 21.20. Uh, the actual is supposed to be 21.21 uh, in inches. It's 8.35 and I'm going 8.345. Now, this nickel's been used a bit, so it's quite possible that thousands of an inch has been worn off it. Um, let's go to fractionals, and there's, there's what you get for a fractional value on that. Um, back to millimeters, okay? Uh, and like I said, it's supposed to be 21.21. So. Pretty accurate, I would say. Um, if I had a brand new nickel, I could, I could be sure that it was the right uh, diameter, but I don't. Uh, let's do a quarter. So back to zero, it's zeroed out. So a quarter is supposed to be 24.26 millimeters or 0.955 inches. And I'm getting 24.24, uh, pretty accurate, I would have to say. Again, let me uh, do that, there we go. Twenty four point two six, so that's exactly what a quarter is supposed to be. Um, back to inches, it's supposed to be nine 0.955 inches, and that is exactly what we got. Um, and in fractional value, 61 64. So, pretty accurate on that. Let's do the last, which is the dime. And back to, it's all zeroed again. So, it zeroes back pretty nicely when you take it back. Um, open it up, put the dime in. And a dime's supposed to be 24.26, uh, sorry, 17.91. Uh, and let me make sure, make sure we're zeroed there. Yeah, we are. And I got 17.87, but again, it's not a brand new, or 0.88, it's not a brand new uh, dime, so really, it could easily have been uh, lost uh, three one thousandths of an inch. Um, or, sorry one hundredths of a millimeter, or in inches it's supposed to be a thickness of 0 0.053 inches, so, um, sorry, 0 0.705, so it's 0 0.704 here. So like I said, quite possible the dime's worn out a little bit, it's an older, it's not a brand new dime. So I'd say it's very accurate, these are very accurate and uh, it works great. I've used it for over a year now and I just decided to make a, a uh, video on it. As you can see, there's your lock. It also has this little port here. I think it's a data port, but there's nothing that you can plug into it as far as I can see. Uh, that's some accessory that's not there yet. So there you go. That's my review on the Pittsburgh 6-inch caliper.